for it will be like a man. What's it will be like? It's his kingdom. He's saying, look, this is God's reality. If you want to know what it means to live in God's reality, this is the way it goes. It will be like a man going on a journey. Later on, we'll learn that the man is a master, and he calls his servants and entrusted to them his property. So wealthy owner calls up. You can imagine three servants coming up, and he says, come on up. I'm going to entrust my property to you. When you hear the word entrust, how does that hit you? When you see this word up here, entrust. Like, what's your immediate emotional response to that, right? Like, when someone comes up and says to you, like, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to give you a puppy. Right? I mean, if you like dogs, if you're a dog person, you're like, yeah, that, thank you, that is a gift. Or someone comes up and says, I'm going to give you an Aston Martin. You're like, yeah, thank you, right? Even if you don't like sports cars, you're going to sell that thing and pocket the 300000 right? That's a gift. But what if a buddy comes up to you and says, I'm entrusting my Aston Martin to you for a year? Take care of it. Don't scratch it. In your mind, I'm not going to even drive it. Why? Because when you think of entrust, especially when your buddy walks over to you and hands you the keys, you think that he is handing you the keys while he's using the word entrust. In his mind, there is some doubt about your ability to take care of that car. Frankly, in your mind, there's some doubt about your ability to take care of of that car. That's how we negotiate this word in trust when it comes to us. So now we have this master who brings up three servants and um, he begins to, uh, we'll see in a minute, but he's going to take parts of his property and he's going to entrust it to his servants. And so it goes on to say, to one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, each according to his ability. So the question is, this is a parable. We know the way that parables work is that it's allegorical, meaning it's a story, but there's a one-to-one uh, correspondence between the story and our own lives. He's handing out five talents to one, two talents to another, and one talent to another. So the question is, allegorically speaking, what's a talent? What is that supposed to mean for you and me if we're a part of this story? Well, as the master hands the talents to his servants, God entrusts his talents into your life or God entrusts your very life. Your life is the talents. When you came into this earth crying and screaming, delivered there in the hospital room. At that time, God entrusted a talent, your very life to you. It's yours to take care of. Now, some have um, defined uh, our life in in one way, and and I would agree. Our life could be defined as our time, our talent, and our treasure. What is given to you? So God has entrusted Time itself, whenever you were born, I was born in 1977, right? And today is 2023, and I have had this space in time, and God has said, hey, hey, Kevin, that is yours. And if you think about it, time is one of your most valuable commodities, isn't it? Because as you burn through it, you don't get it back. As Simon Sinek often points out, time is one of our most valuable commodities. That's why sometimes, let's be honest, someone comes up to you and asks for help. Sometimes it's easier to what? Cut a check and have someone take care of them 
than to go do it yourselves. That's why sometimes on a weekend, your friend, a couple of friends text you, one friend you really like, another friend you kind of like, and the one friend you really like, you want to spend time with, you will say yes to, but the other friend you'll say, I'm kind of busy. And why do you do that? Because you're saying, my time is precious and valuable, and so I want to spend it with this friend over this friend. And is that the right thing to do? Possibly not, but that is what we naturally do. And God gives you time. He also gives you talent. Your gifts and abilities come from God. As we are reminded in 1 Peter 4.10, as each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's varied grace. Every one of you have been given a unique group of gifts and abilities and a personality that is yours and yours alone, that is what God's entrusted to you. And then the last thing is treasure. And I left treasure at the end because that's where we often start when we think about what has been given to us. We often start, we, we think about our money, and, and I would say our money in terms of this list is probably the least valuable thing, but it is still important. Right. All money is, is it's, it represents a material good that we draw out of this planet. And, while, and God made this planet, and so these material goods represented by money is important, and we have to take care of it. So God gives you guys money, too. That's your talent. What do you do with it? What do you do with how with God entrusts to you? Right? Now remember, if that word entrust freaks you out, that will define what you do with the life that's been given to you. 